All right, YouTube. This is Strike a Shadow here. Doing it big. You already know what it is. And uh, I'm going to be doing a soccer video today. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, the topic for today is uh, the U.S. national team. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the two games. All right. So I'm going to talk about everything I liked, what I didn't like, and uh, what we need to change on. All right. So, wait, what was it? Um, yeah. So last week played a bunch of internationals, and the only ones I really cared about was the U.S. national team and a few other ones, but they're not playing right now. And uh, seems like, you know, Bradley is, you know, doing the same mode, BS, and uh, not putting the players we need, right? I, I mean, we did see, you know, Dempsey, Donovan, you know, Tim Howard, of course. He was he was a man of the match. Like it was incredible how, you know, if he wasn't there, it definitely would have been like five one, like within the first half. Like Messi was destroying them. Di Maria, Di Maria, and everybody. Even when they didn't have you know Tevez or Higuain, you know they they were still ripping the U.S. defense into pieces. I did like, you know, Michael Bradley. You know, he was pretty good on defense. But, you know, what I didn't like was a do. You know, no point. You know, it kind of sucks. Let's get rid of him. And, yeah, Altidore, you know. Riley keeps putting him in, but <laughs> let's face it, man. Altidore is having a do syndrome, and he might, you know, slump down. I mean, he keeps running after the ball, you know, not making enough touches. But what I'm really surprised is, uh, you know, new kids we have, like Juan Agudelo. I mean, he scored this match. He scored the equalizer, which is like a fairy tale. But, you know, let's be honest here. It was probably one of the luckiest goals I've ever seen. I mean, Donovan kicked it. Bocanegra headed it, and Aguadelo was just there. The kid was just there at the right time, and he just kind of chipped it in. I mean, it was a goal I could have made easily. I mean, it, it was, but, you know, it's good that we have people that score at least, you know. Out the door, on the other hand, he needs to go out the door. <laughs> That's what I think. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, Aguadelo, Altidore, they were making some nice touches, you know. Once he got in, everything changed, and oh, yes, yes. Chandler, Tim Chandler, dude. Yeah, he's, he, he's finally an attacking defender. You don't have too many of those on the national team, but he's an attacking defender. He came up, and he made some nice, you know, he's a nice addition to the national team. Only like 21, and you know that's good. But uh, yeah. And on you, it, it was doing all right, but I feel like we need to get someone else, like another left back that's better, because it, it's just not enough. But uh, yeah, that was uh the Argentina game. Let's talk about the Paraguay game. Yeah, um, I definitely saw the national team work more as a collective group. You know, the new additions like Aguadelo. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk about Tim Ring yet. Yeah, this this kid is from uh, Red Bulls, like Aguadelo. And, you know, he was, he was making some nice blocks, nice passes, like nice, nice passes from center defense, and it was phenomenal. There was one play, like, he passed it d down the middle, went to Dempsey, and Dempsey immediately just kicked it. It, it was like, 
nice play, a nice, nice play. And I definitely want to see more of him because, you know, we haven't had that on the national team on a while, in a while, like a real talented young defender. I'm so happy. But, <laughs> but another thing that pisses me off, we don't have Holden, you know, has that injury. He's sidelined for six months, so we don't have him from the Gold Cup. So it's like... You know, that's another great player we're losing. But <laughs> hopefully, I don't know, maybe it can be before six months. But I don't really see that as happening. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got sidetracked for a second. But uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, they lost to Paraguay. But I was happy during the game because they're making some nice, you know, beautiful passes, you know. Really showing that like, the U.S. national team is really evolving to like high-class soccer, and you know eventually we might be one of the best, top ten. You know, we're in the top twenty right now. I'm sure of. I don't know if someone you know correct me of that, but I mean we have great stars, but yeah, some of them are fading away. I think we need. Agudelo might be the new Donovan, but but you got to remember Agudelo is a striker, the Donovan is a midfielder, so I mean I don't think that could work, but hopefully we'll see, we'll see. But um, yeah, Paraguay was finally all night. The, re the referee was terrible. Dempsey was hogging the ball a little too much. I mean, you can pass it, Dempsey. I mean, he's just calling fouls on himself. But, yeah, definitely the referee that night was horrible. He didn't make the right calls. And that goal itself should have been disallowed. I mean, the dude that scored, uh, damn, what's his name? One dude I forgot, but. When that Perry Graham dude scored, like, he pulled down Tim Ream. And he shot the ball and went in. Like, I mean, that was terrible. And our goalie, I, I don't, I'm i not sure if we're going to find a, a replacement for Howard. Because, I mean, Howard's phenomenal. But it's going to be kind of difficult to do this. But hopefully, you know, we can get rid of this. Oh. And that's another issue with the national team. How come we're always playing catch-up in every game, you know? I mean, this is terrible. Every game, I mean, if you see the whole World Cup, it's like, okay, we're either tying or we're down one. And then, like, the half to come back. I mean, I'm not saying it's not entertaining, but we, we need to stop this, man. It's always the same catch-up game. I mean... You look at Slovenia, like, biggest example. Scored two, first half. We came back with two, with three pretty much, but dumbass referee disallowed the third one. Would have won, but whatever. I mean, you know, I think we might need a new coach because Bob Bradley, like, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's the American dream, you know, American team headed by American, but... We don't we, we don't need an American to head the national team, you know. Look at uh, Ghana. It's not headed by an African, you know. It's headed by a European coach. So is England, headed by Fabio Capello. He's Italian. So, I mean, we, we don't need an American coach, you know. And that's it for this segment. Um, I'm going to make more of these uh, soccer videos slash football videos soon. So uh, please come back. <laughs> Holla.